Hey, what's going on? It's Johnny Grooms, and today I'm going to be trying something that I've seen a lot of videos on. It's something I've seen a lot of people suffer with. I'm talking about Liza Vecca's Hell Pour Cleanup Mask. Okay, so supposedly this mask is the most painful blackhead removing mask on the market. There's a lot of YouTube videos about it, a lot of people screaming and crying, getting this thing off. I'm going to do this for two reasons. One, I want to clear up the blackheads on my face and on my nose. And two, I want to see if it's really that painful. Promise you will get a genuine reaction from me. Whether it hurts, whether it doesn't hurt, I will let you know exactly how it feels while I'm peeling this mask off. It is the authentic Hellpour mask. Um, it has the QR code and a scratch and sniff, um, not scratch and sniff, a uh, scratch off uh, authenticity code. So you know it is a the genuine product, the real product. It's not a knockoff. So the directions read, I'm going to read them as they are printed. After cleansing, use steam to well or sheet to open your pores and apply Eliza Vecca cleanup mask to your nose and around nose. Then wait for 15 minutes. Slowly peel off from the end and remove the sebum that melted out of the pore. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash the area. I'm going to be using a charcoal soap just to clean it up. When you use these kinds of masks, you don't want to exfoliate. You don't want to exfoliate beforehand. You kind of just want to clean the area. Okay, so I have the water running super hot right now, and I'm gonna put my face near it to get the steam. The steam's not rising high enough to be seen on the camera, but there is steam bellowing from the sink. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done steaming my face. And the reason why you wanna steam your face is to wet your face, but they don't want you to have too much water on your face, just enough moisture that steam would give you. Let's get to opening this up. So we got the red inside, flap, and here's the tube. Let's see if there's any paperwork in there. It's a box inside of a box. Okay, no additional paperwork on the in on the inside, but on the inside flap, you got that brand name on here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is check to see if there's a foil seal. And there is a foil seal right there. It's not a black mask, but a, but a gray mask. I don't know if what I'm about to do is gonna really hurt, <laughs> or it's not gonna hurt. Well, there's only one way to find out. So let's put this damn thing on already. Right off the bat, it is very thick. Much thicker than the black mask that I used before. You definitely want to keep it away from your eye area. Like 100% away from your eye area. And your eyebrow area. So I'm keeping it very high up.
Not that my eyebrow right there, I gotta get that off before that dries. I ain't trying to lose an eyebrow over here. It's definitely gonna hurt on the edge of my nose. Now we wait 15 minutes. I'll be back. All right, it's time to take this thing off now. It is definitely stiff and solid. Um, I had to wait an extra 10 minutes because it was so thick that it was not drying in the 15 that they instructed. So here goes. First thing I like to do when removing these masks is I like to straighten out my cheeks to crack the seal on the edges. As you see around here, it's still a little it's still a little gummy, like bubble gum. And that's because gravity just pulled like, pulled part of the mask down as I was standing here waiting for it to dry. Um, so that just like pulled up right here in the edge. Let's see if I can get the, just, just give you an idea. See that? Okay. Um, not gonna wait any longer. I'm going to get this thing peeled. So I have a tab right here. Flip, 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 right there. So here it goes. There were parts of the mask that were thick, and there were parts of the mask that were really thin. So, the thin parts didn't hurt at all, and the thick parts definitely didn't hurt at all. So, this didn't hurt at all, in any way, shape, or form. Black mask I used in the other video hurt a lot more than this one. At least that one made me tear. This one was like nothing. So, this is not painful. This wasn't painful at all. Makes you think. Are those videos just for the views? Do those people have skin problems? I don't know, but not even a discomfort while taking it off. 
Okay, now that I've used it as per directions, I'm going to do it one more time just on my nose and I'm going to make sure that I put a super thin layer because I feel like the thicker it is, the easier it is to get off and the less it's going to hurt. So, just going to put that much amount on my nose. All right, I'll be back when I peel this one off. All right, it's time to take this one off. Mind you, this one is a lot thinner than the other mask I put on because I figured the thinner the mask will be, the more to the skin it'll be, and it'll be harder to take off and more painful. Because I want to make this hurt, that's what I did. <laughs> so here we go. First, stretch the skin to break the seal. Oh, okay. Now I see what those other videos are talking about. That was uh, different than the first time around. It's really starting to hurt right around here I've got into there and that was it I felt that pain Nah, I'm just kidding. This doesn't hurt at all. It still doesn't hurt. Nope. It doesn't hurt. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, mm. I like how it came off all in one piece, though. Nope, I tried a thick layer and I tried a really thin layer and still does not hurt. The mask does not hurt at all. So. That'll be it for today's video. If you like the contents, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.